Say hi to Big Ned, everybody. You guys seen Big Ned? Look at this pirate legend. Chad, look at this man. We could do a gold hoarder vault, yeah. Do we think Big Ned can pull off a tuck? All right, Big Ned's already a little distracted. All right, let's throw down gold hoarder. Let's talk gold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. We're gonna need to do some we're gonna need to just we're gonna need to do some other stuff. Let's go find an Athena, yeah? Why don't you do a vault? Because I don't have one. I don't have one yet. Don't you have to be a certain level? I didn't see any over there. All I got are these. Which are low level low level gold hoarder stuff. 25 for vaults. What are we right now? We're not very far right now. 18. That's not too bad. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. At least the parrot outfit before he can tuck. Okay. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> I think I look beautiful. Uh, this is like, this is day one of sailing right here. Look at this man from Swabby to a day one player right here, baby. What's up, Jack? How's it going? I will say I can turn invisible though. Gone. Do you have different pirates or do you just make different accounts? Unfortunately, you can't have different pirates on the same account. So I have to like create a new account. Yeah. <laughs> Today after the, uh, at the end of the stream is what we're what were the plan is so this what they've done is not good for them they basically parked what i think what appears their ship directly into the island which is going to be really bad for them because they don't have anywhere to drop the sails I think they're aware. They're moving. What in the... <sighs> Seems to be a florist. he's doing chad i'm i'm very confused <laughs> watch him come out with like a chest of legends or something guys i'm told i told you i'm invisible do you not believe me Is he not here? Oh no, he doesn't hear chat. Uh. 
I don't think he. I don't think he can hear. What do you? I don't know what this man is doing. Is it just regular merchant stuff? Is this man doing regular merchant stuff? I feel like we need to go to our ship. Cargo voyage, it seems. Yeah, merch emissary voyage. Hello, sir. Sir. Hello. I gonna turn back for his plants? Okay, let's go back to our ship. <laughs> I don't understand what just happened. Where are we at? Okay. Let's go to C4, I guess. I don't know. That was... <laughs> just looking for a quick buck. I thought that was our Athena, gosh darn it. Well, we tried. We tried. We did. We tried Ington. Okay, that guy just spawned in. Let's go to that sea fort over there, to the starboard. Let's make some gold, Chad. Maybe sea forts are the way to get to, you know, max level. Maybe. What is a sea fort? I just started playing again. Haven't played since Fort of Fortunes were introduced. Fort of Fortunes, I think, were season one, wasn't it? Sea forts are six new forts throughout Sea of Thieves that you can go to. They are on-demand uh, forts. They are on-demand forts, which basically means, uh, which basically means, as you approach them, they will activate, and then you can complete them. They're easy. They kind of scale to you on the size of ship that you are. Uh, so if you're a solo, they're actually great. And then you can complete them and get some treasure. They're actually pretty, pretty incredible. It, I think doing these events are way better than doing voyages if you're trying to get to uh, Pirate Legend. Because this chest is probably a castaway chest. What do I have to do for you to follow my Twitch? What do you have to do for me to follow your Twitch? My friend. I don't have an answer on that one, unfortunately. Tell me the best dad joke you have. If you make me laugh, I will consider it. Go ahead. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes apparent. Yep. What flintlock is this? This is the mercenary flintlock. You can get it at any of the outposts. Sir, sir. It's basically the obsidian flintlock that I use all the time or the ebon flintlock, uh, except it's green. Big Ned is a money maker. He knows how to make a Demontis. All right, let's... Did they change this chair? Hold on, I'm confused. Big Ned ate Little Ned. Mm-hmm. Get wrecked. I feel like there's somebody here and he's watching. He's doing what I'm doing. He's tucking on my boat right now. That's what it feels like. Anyone else get that sense of like, there's just a man tucking on my boat? And then I think there's only one way to properly check to see if there's a tucker. Fire like anybody else, but. I think new one's up here. I am confused. I swear I heard somebody. I'm not crazy, chat. I am not crazy. 
I am not. I, I, I know myself. And I swear to you, we heard a shot. We did. We did indeed. Look at that. Grade three, baby. Great. Is there anything else there? Nope. Grade three is crazy. What other games do you play? Um, I play Elden Ring right now. <laughs> we killed the tree sentinel naked with a helmet on and a big sword. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. Where else in the world have you seen a man run around naked kill the sentinel? Tree sentinel guy. You know what I mean? All right, who pissed off the Kraken? Who did it? Who did it? Who made the Kraken angry? Who was it? Big, I didn't make him, I didn't make Karen angry. That is a lie. Big Ned is only a lover of the Kraken. The Kraken loves Big Ned. The Kraken is a lover of Big Ned, okay? We're friends. Didn't you see that first video? Uh. Are we good, Karen? Are you good? Karen? How's it going, Hippo? Finally caught you live. What's up, man? Been following the YouTube for a while. Didn't want to follow without you live. Well, welcome in, Lazy Chat. Say hi to Lazy. What's up, man? Welcome in to the channel, sir. Okay, this will 100% get us to grade five. Yeah, let's go. Look at that, chat. We are, we are making some money today. We are making all of the Monty today. So what does a grade five gold hoarder emissary look like for the voyage? Twenty captain's chests on five islands. What? <laughs> Seems fun. I love digging things up. This was three sea forts. That's actually insane. If you think about it. Because you kind of got. We kind of got a bit of treasure for everything. I was, I was not, <clears throat> I was not prepared for that. I was not prepared for that one, chat. I was not. I, I thought, I just saw barrels. I just saw barrels. <laughs> that could have ended very terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Everything is fine. Three sea forts worth of treasure as like a new player character. That's, this is an insane amount of treasure. You know how long it would take to get this many captain's chests just doing regular voyages in year one? A long time. That's the answer. A long time. And we didn't even have emissary back in the day. <laughs> oh gosh. One, one chest, baby. Claim. Thank you. We're making money. We're making money. It's actually pretty crazy how fast we're leveling. How fast we're leveling this up. 
We're gonna go do things. Let's go dig some stuff up. So we completed, we got to grade five emissary, and then we picked up our voyage from the gold order. So our emissary voyage from the gold order. When you get to grade five, you get like an emissary voyage. We are gonna do the gold order one. You can tell it's the gold order emissary by this like mark right here, like this special like mark indicator. So, okay, we know what island that is. That is plunder. So we got Plunder Valley. We got, this is the sh shark. Where's the, it's the Sharkington Ington one. I don't know where this one is. Hold on, I'll find it, chat. Trust. Grade three, Reaper. I'm gonna find it. It's been so, I don't know the small islands as well as I know the big islands. Big islands, I know, like, right away. Small islands, not so much. Twin groves, that's what it is. Not shark anything. Twin groves, hippo. What are you, what are you talking about? Is this Laguna of Whispers? Oh, okay. And Cannon Cove. All right. Boom. I know the big map. I know the big islands like the back of my hand, okay? Because I, I don't spend a lot of time on the small islands. I didn't know that you could get Laguna Whispers. That's crazy. Can you do the Gold Hoarder Vault at some point? Have you not seen the Gold Hoarder Vault? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we might have time. We might have time. Let's see if I can go pick one up. Let me see if I can pick one up. Doing voyages. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time since I did voyages that took me to the small islands. Let's talk. Go. No. Okay, I think I gotta level this up now. Yeah, let's go. So if you haven't done a gold uh, hoarder vault. When you first put it down, you get a compass. This compass leads you to parts of the map. Now you can get lucky and the first part of the map can have the X on it. And if you know what island it is, you don't have to finish the other ones. Um, you could do what I did during the tournament where you just know the island. And so you call upon the whale lord to kind of guide and direct you. And then he takes you to the key and you're good to go then. Um, you can do all of these things. All of this works this way. Always, 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 if you are new to this game, do not, if you want to keep your ship from moving, like you've coasted in, you can drop your anchor for a brief second, then pick up the anchor and make sure your ship is uh, horizontal or parallel with the island. Don't ever have your ship aiming directly at the island. You want your ship basically ready to go at a moment's notice to drop sails in case you see somebody. Especially when you're parked in an island like this and you can't see it around every corner or whatever. Um, something to keep in mind. And then if you want to be extra careful, because you're new to this game and you're like, man, I don't want I'm, fights to make me nervous. Before you leave, before you leave your ship, go up to the crow's nest. Do a quick check. 360 check. Look for ships. In this case, I don't see any ships around. So we got time. We got time. We're going to keep an eye on the horizon. But we definitely, we definitely have some time. All right, let's find. Let's find where this this map is right here. Hey yeah. Success. Did I get it? Okay, well, we're going to need to find more. <laughs> Cuz that's Smuggler's Bay. And I, <laughs> that is a that is a big island, chat. That is That is a that's a big island. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to Wait up. All right, well, you know what? Make some believers out of, make some of you guys be believers in the, the great and mighty whale lord. Let's, let's set us, let's, let's do this. 
Let's do this. I forgot the storage crate. It's fine. <clears throat> Great and mighty whale lord. I know you hear my prayer. Though I have no skull, whale lord, I'm going to sacrifice my body to you. May you forever be blessed. And may the seas forever be stonkiful. I, your humble servant, ask that you lead me to this chest. Guide my shovel, whale lord. <clears throat> and may you make believers of all the people in the chat. All hail the whale lord. All right, we're going to find it. I believe. I believe. All right, first dig. Here we go. You guys ready? The whale lord has spoken to me. It's over here. I'm positive. Maybe right here? Okay, not right here. That was a test. It's actually up here. What in the... How do I... There we go. It's actually up here. It's somewhere around here. I know. I sense it. Can't... Can't dig there. It's over here. It's somewhere on this hill. I promise. Somewhere over here, I promise. It's just, I just, it's close. I feel like the shovel is guiding me closer to it. Stop, stop being a disbeliever. It's over here somewhere, I know it. Okay, did I get the wrong hill? I might have gotten the wrong hill. I might have tuned in to the wrong hill. Bro, you jump from it'll be the first shovel to it'll be the last place I dig. But think about it. It will be the last place I dig. You know what I mean? Guys, this is the content you're looking for. When everyone else is out there doing the, the voyages the proper way. You were here. You were here when I got it on the first dig. You know what I mean? Okay, it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. It was worth the... Okay. <laughs> Let's go find the rest of that map bundle. Clearly, the whale lord wants to teach me the value of hard work, you know? Clearly, clearly that's what's going on. All right, let's see where this stupid X marks the spot is. Then we got some other things we got to dig up here, so we're going to do all of that. All of it. Where do we think it is? All right, survey says I dug there. They like how I I I I dug there. So we are going to. So there's the dock. Dock. Here's the rocks. There's the big rocks right there. Rocks. I think there's this, like, literally something right here. Found it. Shovel reg. That's what happened. One thing I like to do is kind of orient yourself to the map. So the map is north, south, east, and east and west. So once you've kind of, kind of oriented yourself, try to find something that's like a large marker for you. So, for example... This marker in the middle that we're looking at is at the point of this. So there's that point of the big rock. There's trees. So here's trees. And it's kind of to the in front of the path. So here we see a path. So I'm thinking it's like right, like maybe right here. Maybe closer this way. Hold on. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. So it's between two rock piles. So that's the rock pile for sure. That is the path. It is like right over here somewhere. There it is. It does take a little getting used to, but I always kind of orient myself. That always helped me out a lot. I remember, I remember that helping me out a lot. Cause it's, it's tough on bigger maps. It's like really difficult. All right. So we're looking for those rock formations again. So we're standing kind of in the center right there on the path. We got trees this way. And it's kind of right. I want to say it's like right here, maybe. We're doing it. We're heroes. Now, my gut says I need to go back to the ship for a second. We got an emissary flag up. We have a Reaper on the server. Yo, Amp, thanks to the five gifted subs. Curse Rogue, thank you again for the five gifted subs. Let's see where that. Okay, they are way down there, so we're good. We're good for a little bit. Any other ships around? All right, so this ship over here, I don't know. Let's see, let's kind of see what they're doing. They put up their flag. They have a rowboat, which means they didn't start there, which is interesting. That's weird that they have a rowboat. I haven't, where'd that ship come from? I see the, uh... hold on a second. paranoia is kicking in they're not i don't think they're a fresh spawn i guess is what i'm saying it doesn't it doesn't appear to be a fresh spawn we sold treasure there earlier and there is no rowboat they have some damage on their ship yeah we were there earlier though we were there earlier there's damage on their ship as well I don't think it's a fresh spawn. <laughs> it's the end game content by end game. Your crew should always be on the lookout for thieves. Pragmatic, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, I, I think the Athena, the, maybe the only difference would be making the Athena. Making the Athena a little bit easier to get to level five, maybe. Hello, sir. How are you? What are you up to? I don't know. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm parked here, bud. I'm swimming here, bud. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm climbing up a ladder here, bub. What are you doing here? Parking. What else, what else are you doing here? Grubs. That sounds, that sounds legit, actually. Are you, are you just gonna abandon me here, sir? Hey, you have a mermaid out there. Sir! Why would you just abandon me like this? Because it's funny like that. Uh, uh, Alright, that's fair. GG's! I thought maybe I could jump on to his rowboat. <laughs> okay. I swear I dug here. Huh. Hum. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Where can I buy? You gotta call the number, chat. I, the, I, the number. The, you gotta call the number. The number was very clear what was going on, you know? Where do we gotta go? Kraken's Fall. Yuck. Kraken's Fall? For this thing? Did, what, did they have supplies? Toe? Turnus? How do you get the obsidian six pack? You gotta win it in a, you know, you gotta win it. My least favorite vault. It's the yuckiest of all vaults, actually. So what do we do? What do we do? We got like an hour, maybe hit a couple more of these dig islands on the way, yeah? The small ones would be really good. Let's hit the small ones, yeah? And then head to Krakens. What I really need to do right now is go get some snackage. I'm getting a little hungry. So I'm gonna go get some snackage. Chat, can you guys hold down the fort? If I give you Jimmy, you promise to hold down the fort. Hey, bye, I found you on YouTube and I knew immediately I had to check out your Twitch. Well, welcome heckin' in, Beano Boy. Also, everyone say hi to Beano Boy. And if you don't know who Jimmy is, let me introduce you to Jimmy and the chair. It sounds like a band. It's not, but it could be. Um, and then let's shout out Trigger Finger Slip by um, Stray Chris the Violent Man. server we've had Karen come at us by the way I feel like it's cheating yeah you can go home be drunk we done wow Karen she really wants to speak to my manager All right, can you guys hear me? Is everything okay? Are we in business? Are we moving? Are we, are we, are we thuming? My goodness, Karen, what in the actual heck? All right, well, that was fun to come back to. Mrs. Hippo, Sandseed. Mrs. Hippo. Mrs. Hippo is amazing. Uh, with the two jobs that I do, the day job and then streaming, uh, Mrs. Hippo is actually able to stay home with the kids, something that she's always kind of wanted to do. So uh, she's able to be with them all, all day, which is really amazing. So shout out to all you guys. I don't know if you guys know that. People who've been here a while know that, but um, one, this isn't my full-time deal. And then two... Uh, I work long hours to kind of make those two things happen where I'm working my main job and then I'm working this job. Uh, but because of you guys and all the love that you show me and the support that you guys do, I don't think you really fully realize the impact that you've had on me and my wife and my family. You guys really have made a difference. So thank you. Was my day job? Uh, the simplest answer I would say is just a graphic designer. 
the simplest way to say it. It's a little, it's a lot more complicated than that, but the simplest way to communicate about it is graphic designer. We want, uh, I play games after my six month old is asleep and I give her all the Sunday off uh, before I stream at night and Friday off with her friends or just do what she wants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Motion graphics. Yeah, I do motion graphics. It's it's kind of all of it. I do branding, motion graphics, graphic design, print design. Uh, I run a product as well. It, it gets complicated, but I've been doing motion graphics, video editing for, I don't know, almost, I think over a decade. It's, we're probably approaching, let's see, I'm 30. I, we're probably approaching 15 years of me doing it now. Shout out, babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah thank you man i appreciate that okay now if my memory serves me correctly we can do this with one medallion you find the one medallion you place it in and then you go to the very last block and find a block that has one of the medallions or like the first medallion in there so like let's see if we can do this uh, I use Adobe Premiere. That's what I use. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And medallion time. So. Okay, so I think. Oh. If memory serves me correctly. So the image is a cup. So we just need to have a cup on here. So chains. I think it's this next one. Well, that's confusing. Sure. Nope. Am I doing it wrong, chat? Keys are up. Oh, I'm, I'm failing this. I'm failing this hard. I'm failing this hard. I'm failing this hard. This one's a confusing one. Uh oh. I say it's easy, and here I go messing it up. I swear it's this one. Keys are up and locks. Is this not it? Oh, duh. Gotta put it on a cup. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> Professional vault guy here, chat. Professional. That's it. That has to be it. We're going to die in here. This is how we die, chat. I'm just going to figure this out. It's the last gosh darn thing I do. Well, it was a good run, boys. It was a good run. It's got to be this one. a good run boys one chain on the second one oh no no push the button open the door no dang it <laughs> hey we did it
gonna take this chest to my grave. <laughs> I'm taking this chest to my grave. <laughs> to my grave, chat. We're gonna pretend this vault never happened. Still a good tutorial. Great tutorial. Dang it. This is what you get when you don't do PVE a lot. Hippo is throwing confirmed. <laughs> now nah, we're not even going to go back. We're going to screw, screw those chests. Okay, screw them. We're done. We're leaving. We never came here. You never saw any of this. <laughs> We're just gonna go. We're just, you know, we're gone. We're, we're gonna just leave. Nobody saw a thing. Let's just maybe get a rowboat. Maybe get a robo pack, maybe. Is your name Hippo? I thought it was Hitbot when I started watching you on YouTube. It's Hitbo, yes. And how not to do a vault. Yes, that was actually my plan the whole time. Listen, if you were watching this video and you're wondering what the heck was Hippo doing, I was just showing you all the wrong things to do so that you know when you're going to go do it, you can do the right way. That's that's what it was. What does TC stand for? TC stand for my IRL initials. We're going to forget those chests in there. We're going to pretend like this never happened. Uh, my IRL initials are Terry Crews or Terry Crews. Listen, I just, you know, we're going to just go. We're just going to pretend like this never happened. 